welcome back to my channel so I did these um, gray white and silver glitter ombre nails um, with just some three-quarter tips natural three-quarter tips and I didn't record it because I don't know I was just frustrated with this set I hate those tips so I took them off and this is um, a client that I just did she got a uh, nail foil by McCart with uh, iridescent stones. And she was really happy with those. Um, next time I have a client, I will post um, a video of me uh, working on a client. But they came out really nice and she was really happy with those. So also, um, I did do a, a nail haul, Amazon nail haul and I got this dust collector on Amazon and I'll put the description um, below and um, it really works I use that on my client I would have did an unboxing video but as soon as I got my products I kind of when I, I used them all on my client <laughs> so um, I wasn't able to do an unboxing I always uh, also <clears throat> got this um, McCart lamp. I think it's a 45 watt lamp with the automatic um, settings for 60 and 30 seconds. It also has half heat setting so you can lower the heat because it does get pretty hot um, that I noticed. So I'm taking off this set. I'm putting on a new set and here I'm going in with my McCart coarse um, carbide bit to remove the, um, well, I'm using it to remove the stones also and to take down the nail. Um, it's, I don't know, it works really well, but you know, it's a chore. So these are the new tips that I also got on Amazon um, the long stiletto clear I have some stiletto clear already but I had long stiletto clear and I got a new acrylic brush I ordered it said Kalinsky on there but when I got it it wasn't and I got brush cleaner because I'm having a rough time got some more acetone those two I got from Sally's Beauty Supply so I took down these nails got um, my thumbs had already came off, but I took these down and I'm showing you how thin the, I got them before I use my soak off clips, which I love these because it only takes about 15 minutes um, to soak off the rest of the acrylic that's left on the nail after taking it down. I was trying to be really, really careful, but I think I may have. Um, got a couple spots where you know I got to the nail bed but I try to be really careful because I don't want to damage my nail so I just take cotton balls and I kind of break them in half because you don't need you know all that bulk in there and I just use the acetone and I set the cotton ball inside the clip and then clip my nail it's that easy um Sometimes you can over soak, so just be careful. Like when you clip your nail in, when you put your nail in the clip, it'll be like access um, acetone running out a little bit. So make sure you have a paper towel or some type of towel or something underneath you while you work and do this. But yeah, it only takes about 15 minutes and most of it comes off. You can do it actually twice and it'll come completely off. I mean, if there's extra residue or if you haven't taken the nail down far enough to um, get the acrylic and everything off completely. So I also got in the nail hall on Amazon, I wanted to show you guys, I got the um, Jelly Nail Polish by um, McCart. <clears throat> Sorry for the, the little sun coming through. I know it's kind of irritating when 
filming and watching, but I'm also going to do swatches for this video so you guys can see. So it's been 15 minutes and I'm slowly kind of just sliding the nail clip off because sometimes it'll just pull the acrylic off of your nail completely if it's soaked in there good and long enough. But I'm just taking my cuticle pusher and kind of just removing the um, acrylic that's just, you know, kind of stuck. It's, it gets really nasty and everything. So I think, did I do this twice? I might have done this twice. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I'm just going in with my cuticle pusher. You don't want to do it too hard because you can still damage your nail bed if you do it too hard. So you just want to kind of whatever is lifting, kind of, you know, just give it a little push to peel the rest of it off. And it does get kind of sticky on your skin, too because it's you know it's so soft and gunky so just be careful with that and um do it as light as possible and um most of it will come off see but look how gross your nails look after they get yeah yeah you're gonna have to moisturize that okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and do the swatches for the jelly um, the McCart Jelly Nail Polishes. And they come in really pretty colors. Um, and I'll, you know, it'll be a description below what um, each name is or whatever. This red one that I'm doing first, it's, um, to me, it's not as jelly. Like, it looks jelly with one coat but because it's you know kind of streaky you know when you put that first coat on it's not you know it's kind of streaky or whatever so I end up doing two coats for all of these colors and the red one looks a little bit more has more coverage than the rest because <clears throat> I put two coats on this and they stay jelly looking but these are really really good colors I think so they have a red they have a pink they have a green they have a blue they have a color that they call purple something um but I'll list it off and it just looks like maybe like a jelly hot pink it doesn't really look purple at all it just looks like hot pink but I'm doing the swatches because um, I'm going to um, use these on my new set. The design that I'm doing is inspired by Nao Nails. Um, I watch her videos, Nao Nails UK. I watch her videos all the time. Like She does really elaborate artwork. Like her designs are like none other that I've seen anybody do, you know, she's really good. So yeah, these are the colors and I was trying to separate the pink from, well, put the pinks to next to each other because you, so you could tell the difference, like the one that they call purple and the one that they call pink is just you can barely tell the difference. It just looks like light pink and dark pink to me. So, but I do put two coats and I um, cure and I also use a, um, use a top coat on these just to see what it looks like. So yeah, that's uh, basically what they look like with two coats and you see the red looks like more fuller coverage or whatever, but yeah. They look really good. These are good, but see, my card is always good, no matter what they do. Anyway, so I got on my tips. I've prepped my nails. I've done everything, and um, I'm gonna use my model ones. 
dehydrator or I did use my model one's dehydrator and um, uh, primer. The glitter that I just showed you is a collaboration from Raw Image and Candy Glam 818 and um raw images called um shimmering snow and what i did is just i added some iridescent big flakes and small flakes to the shimmering snow glitter so yeah um going to go ahead and start applying my clear acrylic um by Mia Secret um and I got a monomer from Sally's it's a different monomer than the Mia Secrets I usually use Mia Secrets monomer um along with the acrylic powder but um since I was I was running out and I was going to add it to my Amazon haul but I was at Sally's already and I had a client so I just went ahead and picked up a bottle from um, Sally's and I'll put that in the description and the reason why is because I noticed that I don't use as much as this monomer during my application as I use of the Mia Secret uh, monomer it's tens for me it tends I um, I tend to use more for some reason of the Mia Secret monomer. I don't know why. I don't know the difference. I haven't even actually, you know, like kind of figured that out yet. But, <laughs> but um, this new monomer that I'm using, uh, I definitely like it, and I probably will get it some more. Um, I actually um, did different style tips. I mean, well, I cut my tips in different styles. I left um two in the shape of stiletto and then i mean yeah i left two in the state the the shape of the stiletto the original shape of the tip and then um like my thumb middle and ring finger i just cut the very tips off for a coffin shape so um i do have mix shapes on my nails and I see that is like trending or is a trend or a style so I went ahead and I don't know why I didn't show you guys the application of the shimmering snow <coughs> but um but yeah so um I already shaped and filed and everything um my nails and what I'm doing first is putting the clear coat underneath the nail um I don't know why I did that first I guess I don't know I did it first I see a lot of people actually do this last or during the application of their top coat so yeah I just wanted to um make sure that I uh, got that on there. So I'm going to use the green first. And um, I'm going to use the green, the blue, the yellow. And then there will be the glitter nail with the shivering snow. And then the um, purple pink color on my pinky. But I just wanted to show you guys the application of this. The, what I really didn't like is I used um, a base coat underneath this. Um, and I always use a base coat, but I used this just random base coat that I had. And I, it's not very good because I had the base coat and the top coat for this and they're not really good. They don't cure good or anything like that. And I was very disappointed because... It kind of, I don't think it, it didn't bubble up, but it just made, it was kind of lumpy or whatever. Like it's not self-leveling like regular um, gel polishes. It doesn't self-level or something and my sides were all lumpy and everything. But once I put 
these um, polishes on, they kind of leveled out and, uh, you know, it got better once I put on the second coat. So here I'm using the McCart um, gel glue from the pot. And um, this is how I saw like on Nail Nails how she did it. She used um, like a gel first, then put on a top coat and then applied her stones. So I'm using like stones with metal squares, large and small metal squares. And then on every other nail, I'm doing large metal squares and um, large metal circles in silver and in gold, just because I couldn't decide, do I want silver? Do I want gold? Do I want circles? Do I want squares? So I made a design to where it was like a gold square, uh, a silver square or a gold um, circle and a silver circle and just kind of did it opposite. What I saw on Nail Nails was that she used like triangles and bars and big um, chunky odd shaped crystals, but I didn't have like <clears throat> the exact stuff to um, copy exactly what her nails were. So, you know, I used what I could, but I just got the idea of this style or design from watching her video. Because uh, I was looking up gel nails, like um, jelly, not gel, jelly polish designs and to see like what were people... <clears throat> actually doing with these jelly polishes like what do you do what design do you use how do you use them like what looks good or whatnot or whatever so that was the one I was attracted to like the most is seeing her design she only really did like two nails on her client and I just thought it was so dope so that's why I went ahead and kind of you know looked at what she did and said, okay, I, I think I, I got, you know, a little something like that. Let me, let me see what I could do. So, um, you know, so I did go ahead and I put, it was kind of messy, you know, cause the pot, I got to get used to using that, um, that nail glue pot. It's really like, um, it's super thick, you know, it's super thick. So, but you know, these stones and this metal where it's not going anywhere, <laughs> this is going to last forever. And I mean, if I didn't, you know, if I wasn't always trying to do new designs and stuff like that and show like what I could do or whatever, I probably would wear these much longer than I am because at this point like I'm looking at them right now and they look so good they're still shiny and sparkly and all of that but it's like I'm ready to do a new style already <laughs> as I'm doing this video but this video is kind of late like I'm coming out late with this video it's probably already been a week about yeah well not quite a week but that's just how I am like after a week, I'm kind of over it and I want to do something different. So I am thinking of a new design to put on my nails already. <laughs> I am going to keep my shapes though. I'm going to keep the stiletto and um, coffin shape mix on my uh, hands. I'm just going to change the style or whatever. But this like y'all don't understand like I, I swear I think I say this all the time uh it's so to me it it looks easy like when you're watching these videos and nail techers just you know placing these stones all accurate and perfect and straight and it's like nothing to them and I have such a hard time because a couple of my crystals on my finger did come out crooked like the design did come out crooked, so, I mean, it still looks good, but I guess I can tell, like, that's not straight, that doesn't look right, 
but everybody thinks they're cute and here they are and I do think they came out really pretty super blinged out you can barely see the middle parts but at the same time um, up close you can really tell and they look so so pretty I love these but you know I need to come up with another design too <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for liking my videos, watching my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment, and share. Thank you. Bye.